I'm smelling that smoke. Look at that coal rolling. That's right, folks. Don't cancel culture me. Putting all those minerals back into the air. Uh-huh. In a time of uncertainty, living in a world that is dull of light, Life is short, and tomorrow there are no guarantees. Shattered are the dreams of many. I don't think it's intended like that. Nobody goes out and says, hey, I want to have my dreams shattered. But a lot of people do, because they don't have any dreams at all. If you shoot for nothing, you're going to hit it every single time. There's a lot of excuses. I can't lose weight because of this. I can't make money because of this. I can't do this because of this. At the end of the day, it's up to you. And all the excuses do is make you lose. You gotta be a little crazy. And you have to be able to say no. I won't accept no as the answer. No! You know, I didn't lose the weight that I wanted to lose this week. It doesn't mean I can't lose weight. It just means that I had a bad week and I did things wrong. And the minute that you accept responsibility for that is the moment when you can step back into the right direction and get back to work. Because otherwise all you're doing is making excuses and you're staying away from where you need to be and where you want to be. And it doesn't just necessarily have to be losing weight. That is a life lesson right there. And that goes with anything. I think this happens in every video now. The famous slide over. So I'm debating guys. I was thinking about heading out this week, head out west again, and uh, yesterday I was thinking about it, and then I found the news out. The pipeline, the, the gasoline, the gasoline shortage, and I was like, are you kidding me? I'm just like, what in the heck? I guess there were some gas stations, I haven't looked into it too much, but I know enough to know that there were some gas stations that were out of gas around here because of the uh, cyber hacking. Anymore these days, I question anything that gets told to me. I always have questioned that, but... Uh, the cyber attacks. I guess I was reading that the hackers didn't want to cause any harm to the people. They just wanted to steal money, but they don't want to cause any harm to anybody else. I thought that was a pretty compassionate statement of the hackers or from the hackers. Yeah, we didn't really want to mess with anybody. We just wanted to steal some money. Yeah, it makes pretty good sense. Anyhow, yeah guys, been working out and doing good there and I should talk about the eight day water fast and what it was like to go without food for eight days. So, I should probably make a whole video on it, but all I can say is, well, I was hungry a lot of time. It wasn't a terrible hungry, but it was kind of more of an annoying hunger. And uh, I drank a lot of water. I will say for being off from the fast now for a couple weeks, I went from 194 to about 200 and I've been holding I've been holding right around there. I have seen 203 once, but now I'm back down to 200 and 201 again. And I must say my stomach is feeling a lot tighter. My whole body is feeling tighter. It actually feels like as time goes on, I'm still gaining leaner. I do believe some of that to be because of the fast. I think I kicked up my metabolic rate a little bit more. Um, I was hitting the treadmill during my fasting time. So that kind of takes the myth away of sitting around. And you know, everybody's fast is gonna be different if you do go on a fast and everybody's going to be a little bit different as far as energy levels on a fast but this time when I was fasting there were days that I was doing 12 miles on the treadmill so I kind of really want to go on another fast again and I 
am thinking about it. I don't know if I'll go on another seven day fast, but boy, another seven day fast right now, that would do me great. Yeah, there's some willpower there though. I mean, you're not eating food and uh, kind of sucks. I like eating food. But like I said, I feel everything tightening up. I think I'm looking a lot better. I can feel it. I can see in the mirror. I can see my obliques coming in. And it feels as far as getting back to work into the gym after I did lose a little bit of muscle. But, man, it's fun because I'm working out again and I'm seeing it happen. It's like I'm growing all over again. You know, not eating for eight days and jumping back into it. The body has swollen up again. So that's fun. But I am thinking about going on another fast. Maybe a three-day, three 72-hour three fast. Maybe do one of those right now. I guess I'm kind of building my body back up again. But I feel like I could go on a fast here within the next few days and it would probably do me good. So I am considering that. But right now I've just been eating clean. I have had some slip ups. But, you know, like I said, I was like 194.4 when I was fasting. And then I'm back up to 200, 201 right now. And I don't feel bad about that. I don't feel like I've added any fat. That's for sure. I feel like the weight has been, oh, yeah, beef it up, man. Oh, yeah. I feel good. Don't feel like I put any fat on. So that's good. Yeah, guys, like I said, I do, uh, I am itching to get back out on the road, turn the key and get back out west. And I thought about it this week, and then I heard about the fuel shortage, and one quick word before the outro of the video. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe! And that's about as much news as I have for you right now, so, uh, I'll be back at you with the next video. Until next time, this is Bro, and we out! Thank you.